Okay, just another go at doing the um, uh, time lapse again and trying to gain HDR. It's cloudy now, so I'm going to try and do a shot with a wide angle using the 600D pointing upwards. So it's obviously much brighter in the sky, even though it's cloudy and it's much darker here. So the HDR hopefully will work okay. All right, so have a look at the uh, settings. So I've got it uh, in manual mode there, you can see. And I've just done an exposure setting for the scene overall. It's about 1 25th of a second, got ISO over 100. It's a, it's a manual focus on this lens. I focused it on infinity because it's going to be doing just the background basically in, in the distance. I've got, um, you can see there that, that indicates um, there's no automatic aperture on this, it's a fixed aperture. You have to turn the ring on the lens. See there, see there. You can see there the ring is a manual focus ring to turn it. So I've just turned that and I've put it at 16 actually. 16 on there and um, if we go into the magic lantern settings I've also you can put the sorry put the size of the far size s2 which is fine if you're going to put them into a, a HD movie anything, anything bigger than that just be wasted I've also set the white white balance to cloudy it's better not leave it auto so it doesn't change during the sequence and if I go into magic lantern and just go there you can see the HDR bracketing settings for that if I press the Q button there. I've got frames, three frames are going to take three shots basically. Uh, one stop either side, so I'm going to get one underexposed shot, the mid shot and the overexposed shots. And the sequence will go in, you can see it'll be the normal shot, that's at 1 25th of a second. Then it'll do the underexposed shot and then it'll do the overexposed shot. I'm not going to use the ISO to do this, it's going to be just the aperture. So that's the settings on the HDR bracketing. And if I go back into Magic Mountain again and just show you the interval meter, I'm going to set that for five seconds basically and uh, let that go. So I'm just going to, if I come out of that now and press half press the shutter button there, you see it starts to take the shots. If I just stop that for a second there and show you the shots quickly what it's doing. So what it's doing there, you can see it's starting off the first one at 1 20, 25th of a second, the correctly kind of exposed one for the scene. Then it's doing the one underexposed, it's calculating there at 100th of a second. It's, it's the clouds in nicely. And then it's doing the overexposed one at 1 6th of a second. So if you see the sequence there, it'll do the correctly exposed one, 1 25th of a second, then it will move to 100th of a second, underexposed, then it will do the overexposed, and it will keep doing that sequence, building the scene.